What's up everyone and welcome back to Country Cast. Today we have an update surrounding the case involving Sarah Evans and her estranged husband, former University of Alabama quarterback and radio host Jay Barker. Back on the morning of Saturday, January 15th of this year, Sarah Evans' husband, Jay Barker, was arrested and charged with a felony, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. It was alleged at the time that he attempted to hit Evans with his vehicle. Local news station CBS 42 out of Birmingham, Alabama, obtained an affidavit filed by police after the reported incident where it claimed that law enforcement made contact with Sarah Evans at a home that morning at approximately 1.30 a.m. on Norwood Drive in Nashville, Tennessee. Evans alleged that she left a party from her neighbor's house and received a ride from her friend to go across the street. Evans added, while riding in the passenger seat of her friend's vehicle, they passed a driveway, at which time Evans claimed to see Barker backing up his vehicle at a high rate of speed, attempting to hit them, but he missed. The affidavit also notated that Sarah Evans and her husband were separated at the time of the incident and she had filed for divorce five months prior. As I stated earlier, Barker was arrested that same morning by police and then released on bond for $10,000. And as of Thursday, June 9th, Barker has been sentenced surrounding this incident. TMZ obtained court documents surrounding his sentencing and spoke to the Nashville District Attorney's Office. According to TMZ, Sarah Evans' husband took a plea agreement, knocking his charge down from felony aggravated assault to misdemeanor reckless endangerment. Court records indicated that as a part of the plea deal, Jay Barker was sentenced with probation. He must forfeit all weapons, complete a 26 weeks batterer's intervention program, and stay out of any legal trouble. Barker's probation period is 11 months and 29 days, and he will not face any jail time with the probation. Sarah Evans has not commented on the incident since filing the report or after the sentencing of her estranged husband. Guys, we would love to know your thoughts on this down below in the comments, but that will be it for today's video. If you are new here to CountryCast, hit the subscribe button down below. Turn those notifications on as well so you never miss out on any breaking updates surrounding your favorite country artist and all the news coming right out of Music City. Y'all stay country.